Hey, Kevin, you building a Brainiac? <laughs> well, sort of, yeah. This is for a commission for a public installation down in Florida. And you got to see my street urchins, right? So I've done some smaller versions of these, you know, the little street urchins, anywhere from the little punkers, you know, that are only, I think, like an inch in diameter with their little mohawk hairdos, all the way up to about, oh, I think the biggest one I've made so far was about 18 inches, you know, maybe two feet in diameter. Well, this one's going to be a public installation. They want it five feet in diameter. So this is a 12-inch diameter uh, hemisphere, and it's you know, it's about an eighth-inch wall, I think. So you know, it's got some length to it. And before, with the little ones, what I would do is just cut up a bunch of you know round stock, roll the ends on the grinder just to smooth up the ends. So you don't have anything that's going to stab you if you put your hand on top of it, and just start welding. You know, if I need more, just cut more. Well, because these are going to be, you know, anywhere from about 24 inches to, no, I don't know, maybe about 18 inches long, each of these spines on here, well, I need to do a little math and figure out just exactly how much I need to go buy instead of running down there and buying more and buying more and buying more. So I just called the steel yard and I said, you know, hey, I need, you know, about, you know, a one inch, uh, inch and a half, uh, you know, inch and three quarters, two inch, something like that. You know, what kind of steel do you have in stock? Looking for pipe. Looking for, you know, maybe about an eighth inch wall. So he read off what they had, and they have uh, one inch, inch and a quarter, and inch and a half in stock. So these are almost the right size. Of course, they measure on the inside of the, of the hole saw rather than the outside. So but, hole saw? What do you mean hole saw? What are those? Well, well these are hole saws. You know, that these are for just cutting holes in steel, plastic, wood, whatever. But they're a really nice template. So I figured, well, okay, let me start with the big one. So I figured just, you know, set it up there, trace around with a pencil, you know, mark it somewhere else, mark it somewhere else, mark it somewhere else, get a whole bunch of the inch and a halfs up there, you know, and then drop down one size. You know, fill in a little bit, you know, get a nice, a nice uh, collection of the next size down. And then go to the little guy and fill in where I can. So at least I'll have a pretty good idea of how much steel to go buy. So I came up with 31 of the inch and a halves and figure in two feet long on each, on every spine. They're not going to be that. I'll cut some of them shorter, but, but this way I have a little more than what I need. So I can always add a little. It's not, you know, all, they're not all crammed together touching one another, so I'll probably use a little more. But, you know, 31 and an inch and a half, two feet long, that's 80 feet. You know, that, that's the next step up, buying in 20 foot sections from what it actually came out to. Uh, 51 of the inch and a half and 40 of the one inches. So I need 80 feet, I need 120 feet of the inch and a half, and I need 100 feet of the inch. And I thought, well, okay. Once I have my pipe, I can always, you know, orange peel it, where you cut little slices in it and then bend everything over, weld them all solid, grind them all down smooth, or I can just get more hemispheres. You know, now, now this is a two inch, I gotta go buy you know, the size that I need. But then I'll just weld those right to the tops of the pipes. Nice rounded over smooth edge, that way when it goes to the powder coater, everything will look just perfect. You know, it'll look very nice on it. And some of you may be wondering, well, why didn't you just use solid instead of pipe? You know, why, why give yourself that extra work to do? Well, mostly it's for weight, simply because we have to ship this all the way to Florida. And shipping all of that solid steel gets a little expensive after a while. And, and, and the weight, I would I imagine, yeah, would be... Huge. Yeah, the, the weight would be exponentially higher. And I don't want to overload, if you will, this one hemisphere that's holding everything up. So just cut them, come in, you know, nice, nice MIG weld around there, good penetration, just suck them right down on there. So how are you going to lift this sculpture up, Kevin? Oh, come on, it's easy. You get out your magic wand, you know, you wave your magic wand at it. <laughs> um, I stayed up a couple of nights thinking about that, and what I actually decided was, well, now, the 
pipes, you know, you can get some pipes that are threaded, or I can get out the tap and die set, and I can thread one. So if I put that inch and a half pipe, nice, big, solid, you know, plenty of tensile strength, plenty of lifting strength, if I just weld a nut right there, or even cut a hole and weld a nut underneath, and put a threaded pipe in with a lifting ring on it, screw that down in there, this is how you pick it up and move it. You know, this is how they'll pick it up off the, uh, you know, out of the crate to install it. And then just remove this one with the lifting ring and get the powder-coated one that goes in its place, screw it in, you know, maybe a little drop of Loctite on there, screw it in, snug it up just a little bit. All done. Easy. Well, that's how it looks on paper anyways. So you know, now that I've got my shopping list, I'll just go call the steel yard and, and beg and plead and they'll send a truck over with a whole bunch of pipe on the, on the back of it and offload it all, bring it in, and get to work. Will we be able to watch this grow on the website? Oh, sure. Sure, absolutely. You know, you, you'll come see it you know, in the process, I'm sure, you know, a few videos, you know, pictures on the website and what have you. And then uh, we'll take it down to the crater and have them crane it up and throw it on the semi, and away it goes. You mean like gently place it on the semi? It's probably going to weigh several hundred pounds, so yeah, you're going to have to be gentle with it. You know, they're going to have to build a nice big crate. You know, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably add something down in there that they can bolt this to the pad. You know, inside the crate. You know, have a piece of plywood, have a piece of steel, whatever, and you'll be able to bolt that right inside the crate, bolt it down, rather than just a gob of you know, peanuts inside there to try to keep this thing from moving. And then I'll, you know, I'll also add some kind of bolt-down arrangement for when it gets down there. So they can pick it up and put it on the pad, bolt it to the pad so it doesn't walk off or blow away, you know. So yeah, yeah, you'll see it. You know, so stay tuned. This one will be coming along. I'm going to go order some steel. I'll see you guys next time.